We know a lot of people in Central Oregon are big beer fans, but are you such a diehard that you'd like your favorite brew on your walls at home? Mackenzie Wilson met an artist who can make it happen. Every artist has a niche, and Karen Elans couldn't be a better fit for Central Oregon. I mean, I just did it as sort of a joke. The first several paintings, like I would do Mona Lisa and all these famous ones almost like tongue in cheek, like ha ha ha, you know, now she's having coffee. And the people's response surprised me. And then it just kind of kept on rolling. And yeah, I never would have dreamed it would go anywhere, really. In 1997, Karen dropped her watercolors and get this, she picked up some coffee and some beer. In 97, I was in a coffee shop painting a watercolor and I was kind of bored and just kept staring at my coffee and thinking it was a pretty color and why wouldn't it work? And I tried it out and it worked. I kind of never looked back. Karen's love affair with art started in the second grade. We had learn how to paint portraits in art class and I remember I really enjoyed it and then they picked mine to go up in the hall and I was just kind of like, ooh, maybe I can do this. Years after that, that moment helped guide her through a tough decision. I used to take ice skating lessons, and when I was 15, my mom was like, you really like art, I think you could go farther with that if you don't want to compete skating-wise. Maybe you could take art class instead, and I did, and I'm so glad, because that class is probably the only real training I've had, and it, it really launched me into, I mean, what I'm still doing today. Some people really, really try and, and never get to really do what they love, and I just wake up being like, I get to do this. I'm really thankful. Her gift has opened doors all over the world. Last year, she went to London to paint this. A company called Cobra Beer. Um, they make a beer that's supposed to go with uh, Indian food. And they had me paint with their beer plus curry spices for kind of the Queen's uh, Jubilee year. And they got me to come paint live for whoever was walking by and kind of an ad for them. and. Uh, it was really fun and I loved London more than I thought I would. Later, Dubai called and she flew there to paint at a Middle East coffee and tea convention. And in two Seattle coffee houses, Karen's artwork covers the walls. The entire project took her almost an entire year to complete. They had me do the history of their shop and one of them was like a four by eight foot panel of a panorama of their shop with all the people and lighting and I don't know. When I was done with that, I was like, it looks like their shop. I don't know, I, it conveyed the atmosphere that they had and I was really happy with it. While she's painted tons of originals, what Karen really likes to do is recreate the classics. There is one foolproof way to tell them apart, but you have to look close. I think one of these, these dancers back here might be drinking a coffee. I was gonna put it in her hand. But yeah, I think one of these, may, she might be like. Next time you're having a beer at Worthy Brewing Company and Ben, check out Karen's work. Or if you'd like to purchase a painting, head to our website, www.beerpainter.com.